whether we're alone in the universe in some sense defines the universe for us. And as Carl Sagan said, if we're alone, it's an awful waste of space. But at some point, the question comes down to an interesting question of, of how rare is intelligence? I mean, it could be, and I happen to believe that since all the conditions for life exist elsewhere in the galaxy, water, organic materials, light, all of that, that life is ubiquitous. But the key question is, is intelligence an evolutionary imperative? Do all roots of evolution lead to intelligence? And on, on Earth they did. Well, at least one root did. And, it, and where it goes from here we won't know. But that happened by a series of evolutionary accidents. Isn't that a contradiction? Either evolution through its imperative causes intelligent life, or it's an accident. It can't be both. Is well, it, if it's an imperative, well, I mean, that imperative, sounds like theistic evolution. Well, by imperative, I mean that all roads lead there, regardless of how random they are. Wow, that's a powerful comment. I don't know. I mean, I think all streams will go downhill, but I don't think they're being guided, uh, 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 other than by the force of gravity. And so there are, are there physical laws that inevitably cause intelligence to be selected naturally uh, in a way that allows, inevitably, if you have lots of different life forms, the intelligent life form will eventually come and dominate the planet, ruin the atmosphere, build huge <laughs> cities, etc. I know a whole bunch of theologians who could not have said that better. Well, that doesn't say much. <laughs> but I'm willing to believe that even if it's really rare, there's still a lot of intelligent life in the galaxy. Well, what that brings up is... Fermi's paradox. If you have all this time, billions of years in universal history, and you have billions of stars in our galaxy and hundreds of billions of galaxies, and now we know planets around, maybe oh, many stars. Most stars, we think. Have planets. Where are the aliens? Okay. Well, we live in a random corner in the far edge of the Milky Way galaxy. Fermi's paradox is that, well, look, if life evolved, it would basically colonize the galaxy and you could calculate it would send out robots or, or parts of its civilization to four other planets that would then send to four and, other and, planets. And if you Everything would grow exponentially. It's not a bad logic, but I don't think it's inevitable. It's just as plausible to me that civilizations will exist where they are until they exhaust all the resources where they are, and then they'll move on. And even if they decide to send out lots of feelers, it's quite plausible to me that th most of those feelers will not survive, whether they're robots or, or little colonies. And so this whole argument only works if civilizations decide they're going to colonize the galaxy. It's not so clear to me that it's inevitable that you have to colonize the galaxy. As I say, if most of but your... But you don't need most. If you could make the calculations on one or just a handful of civilizations that have a similarity to us that do want to colonize or have a need to colonize, and, and, and this expands exponentially, and then if you have the whole universe but in so many different But you require the places. exponential expansion. That's the key point. You require that each civilization send out a certain number of colonies, which then send out a certain number of colonies, which send out a certain number of colonies, and they all are sent out at a relative regular pace, and most of them survive. And we just don't know. if Traveling through space is very difficult and deadly. And it's a long time, and lots of things can happen. And we also don't know, in my mind, if you look around at life on Earth, I, it's not clear to me that there's this imperative to always move. At the same time, I, as, as Fermi's paradox is, is certainly not illogical, but not necessary. Even if life is very rare, in an absolute sense, it can nevertheless be very abundant. It may sound ridiculous, but that's possible in the universe. I mean, it's a long shot that even if there's life out there, we'll ever know about it. That's the sad thing. But I also, at the same time, believe it's out there, and that's good enough for me.